Hey, what's up, coin hunters, and welcome to a look at the brand new 50 pence pieces from Jersey. Um, well, as you can see there, they are for the Mr. Ben 50th anniversary. Now, I'm not sure if this cartoon is still going on on television because I don't watch them. Um, but when I was small, really, really small, this was on television a lot. Um, so here you can see there it's got the one that's moving in the middle is the main character Mr. Ben Then you've got the cook the clown the spaceman and the knight to be honest I have no memories of ever watching this um, I think I did a few times, but yeah, I was I don't know but yeah, so Westminster collection is the only place you can get these coins um, yeah, I like the design, but I've seen people stressing that too many 50Ps are coming out in, like, one after the other, basically. You don't have to collect them. That's the thing. Before we start looking, guys, just because Westminster Collection release 50Ps, these are technically not legal tender here even though somewhere it's going to say legal tender um these are for a different country basically um so if you're a 50p collector and you think you have to keep collecting every single 50p that's being released these technically are classed as foreign coins even though jersey is between us and france it's still an kind of like it's a different country you know it's a bit like if they were releasing the 50 euro coin like this um but yeah so westminster collection as always is milking every single penny <laughs> so you've got the set you can order for 31 pounds and 25 pence there just a regular uh bu set then you've got the silver proof there for 325 pounds save your money and buy some britannia's then you got the Mr. Ben himself, silver proof there, the regular um, packaged uh, Mr. Ben coin there. Then you got the just these ones are just all three along there. I don't see a point. So you got the chest fifty worldwide, the ultimate. What is it? The ultimate Mr. Ben silver proof fifty p cover. Okay. Um, same with this look you get like one of each and then there's the other one yeah not my cup of tea so these were released today so we're gonna have a look at them all and see what they're like so this is our first one this is the main one in the collection there's the actual uh, character mr. Ben um, with the 50 um, surrounding him with his name above and some houses behind and then you got the same houses behind but with a clown close up the cook close up the knight close up the spaceman close up and then just the packaging there we go packaging's nice but like i said guys don't feel like you have to buy every every single one that westminster collection um releases there you don't uh, let's have a look. Let's go back a couple of pictures. So this is what the presentation of their silver proofs is going to be. So they're all little thing like that. See now, I don't know what this bit where the mouse is made of. I'm not even going to look, read through. And then you've got the unprotected silver proof. It looks like there um, in a box some pictures so I don't know long term how they're gonna age basically and then you got the close-ups coming up of each one do like the colors I do like the colored versions of them so if you guys are gonna be buying them let me know the quality of the actual printing or decaling whichever one they're using um, let me know what the quality is but yeah I do like them 
they're, they're kiddie, but I won't be collecting them. I don't collect these type of um, sets. There's the Mr. Ben on his own. We can have a look at the coin on its own there. Then we have, what else was there? We've got the regular BU on its own. And there's a grandma. See now, they are 50 pences, but they're not legal tender in the UK. So if you're a 50 pence collector and you only want UK 50 pences, these are not part of the UK collection. And then we've got, what's this? Let's have a look at the, the stamp. Can we get, can we go closer? There we go. So that is a bit fuzzy, but it's got like a stamp with a thing. These things, they're not going to go up in value guys, to be honest with you. I've seen lots of people struggle to sell these things. There's the stamp. That's, that's basically what you're paying the extra money for that on an envelope. Oh, there's the stamp itself. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't like these um, covers, to be honest with you. Um, some people do. Personally, I because I'm not getting paid by Westminster to look at these, I can say what I want, basically. And yeah, they're not what I like, to be honest. But you can see like each one of the character ones has a different like character stamp, would you say? There, but still. They'll probably show us. Oh no, they didn't even show us all the stamps, did they? No. Oh there we go. There's all the stamps for them ones. I have I'm guessing that's a postman, a pirate, a cowboy, <laughs> caveman, and a scuba diver. I'm guessing that's their names, because going by the other ones. Maybe this is next year's set. <laughs> but yeah, guys. So we're on to our last one. There's the cover for the very last. Um, or is it just the BU set? You're paying £20 extra for this one, I think. We'll have a double check. But yeah, that's just the same with the cowboy stamp. Let's have a look at the pricing on that. So to buy the regular set, you got thirty-one pounds, and then the one with the envelope. Do they still put it on an envelope? Um, with a stamp, you're paying twenty, nearly twenty pounds more. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, well, the silver proof is even worse. I've just noticed you can buy the pack of silver proofs that are really nice, kind of in a nice presentation box. Then pay fifty pounds extra and you get it on a piece of paper. Don't like it. So guys, what do you think of them? I do like the coins. I'm gonna click on the silver proof. Let's have a look. Let's have bring these ones back up. They're nice. Um, I do like the coins. Um, it's just I won't be collecting them. And Westminster Collection, they do know how to squeeze every penny out of collectors. Um, and remember, you don't have to buy every single thing. I don't buy every £5 coin that comes out. I only collect the uh, Chinese Zodiac ones now. Or whatever comes in a year set. That's it. I have no interest in £5 coins. I have not... Well, I bought the <laughs> Captain Cook £2 coins from the um, museum in Yorkshire. But that's it. I collect 50 P's. Choose what you like. Enjoy. Um, don't feel overwhelmed by it. I've seen so many people on Facebook today saying they feel overwhelmed with the amount of coins that's coming out. Remember, we have different mints around that are going to release them. It's not just the Royal Mint. These are not made by the Royal Mint, are they? Probably. Um, I can't remember. But you've got Pub Joy as well. Um, they're a separate mint from the Royal Mint. They have nothing to do with when the Royal Mint brings out coins. Pub Joy is a completely different thing. Um, so yeah, guys, just remember, collect what you want. Collect what makes you happy. Okay? There we go. 
So, yeah, leave in the comments what you think about these new coins. I do like them as I click my fingers. Um, my favorite one, I think it has to be the one in the middle. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, which one's your favorite, and I'll see you in the next one. So take care, guys, and happy coin hunting. Goodbye.